The Grenadines Islands of Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines are known for their pristine beauty on land and underwater. And while the island chain may be a part of two nations, the wildlife of the region does not recognize boundaries. Here you'll find up to 21 species of seabirds, 11 of which use these islands to nest and raise their chicks. These seabirds all have the unique and remarkable abilities to be masters of air, land, and sea. Their unique traits such as webbed feet, waterproof feathers, and ability to drink salt water allow them to thrive in the marine environment upon which they depend. The Grenadines Islands are critically important for seabird nests, with some islands harboring thousands and even tens of thousands of nests. In fact, several islands are internationally designated as important bird areas because they are so crucial for the health of seabird populations. Because seabirds often return to the same island year after year to nest with the same mate, it is very important that these islands are protected. Like many people in the Grenadines, seabirds are fisher folk too. They therefore serve many important roles including helping fisher folk to find fish at sea, understand weather patterns, and navigate. We follow one of the one of those laddies and kill. When you do stop, you stop right in our jungle about right. Okay. And I write it, look them. And we start to kill fish. For example, if you go for the ball, you cannot kill fish. But number one, the ball is gonna make it to know where the fish is. So as you're going out and you see a ball, you're gonna say, yeah, okay. Word. You see a ball up there, let's go. As you reach there, most of the time you, there are something that the boat see in the water. So when they have a piece of steak, when they have a piece of wood, could be a net, whatever it is, the boat saw it. So when we saw the boat, that's when we go there and that's all. Their guano has important nutrients which help coral reefs to flourish and studies have shown that reefs around seabird nesting areas are healthier. Seabirds are vital for showing us the health of our oceans as they are easy to see and require healthy populations of fish to survive. An empty sky where seabirds once prosper can mean an empty sea. Protecting seabird nesting habitat also protects other wildlife which call these islands home. Sadly, throughout the world, including the Grenadines, the number of seabirds are declining due to many threats. Researchers have shown that global seabird populations have declined by approximately 70% in just the last 60 years. These declines are believed to be higher in tropical areas. Most seabirds raise only one chick per year, meaning that if their chick or egg is lost, it will be another full year before the pair has a chance to contribute to the next generation of seabirds. One highly visible threat is litter, especially plastics, in which seabirds can become entangled. Some seabirds also eat plastic, which can be mistaken for food or hidden inside a fish they eat. A recent study by St. George's University of Fish intended for markets in Grenada showed that over 90% of them contain plastic. These plastic items often cannot be digested and build up until they kill the bird. Seabird nests are nearly always found on remote islands. This is to stay safe from predators such as dogs, cats, and mongoose. Unfortunately, even some remote islands have rats that will eat eggs and chicks. 
During nesting season, people can disturb nests when they get too close with deadly consequences for the birds. It takes just minutes for an egg or chick to die if exposed to the hot tropical sun without the protection of a parent bird. Eggs, chicks, and adults are also at risk from people harvesting them. Unfortunately, with the decline of seabirds in recent years, the birds may disappear if harvesting continues at the current rates. While goats may seem harmless, they can trample eggs and disturb birds when they run through nesting areas. They also eat plant cover, leaving the soil unprotected from rain. This soil then runs into the sea, smothering other coral reefs. On some occasions, individuals set fire on seabird islands in an effort to manage or clear vegetation. Fires not only destroy seabird habitat, but they also harm the many other species that live on these islands. When done at the wrong time of year, seabird chicks and eggs can be destroyed in these fires. Erosion of the soil is also worsened when fires kill plants which hold the earth. Many islands are privately owned, some of which are for sale on the international market, which means that the threat of development is ever-present. Entire colonies of seabirds can be wiped out with the stroke of a pen, signing rights of a seabird nesting island over to developers. As an alternative to development, many local communities can benefit from seaboard tourism by showing visitors these magnificent birds on their nesting colonies. Conservation groups, government agencies, and individuals are partnering to address these threats, but it will take all of us working together to ensure that seabirds will continue to grace our skies, lands, and seas, and continue to return home to the Grenadines. Please dispose of litter properly and ensure that fishing nets don't go astray. Please do not collect or eat seabirds, their chicks or their eggs. Reduce or remove goats from offshore islands and avoid disturbing nesting seabirds during their breeding season. With your help, we can protect our natural heritage and these amazing birds, which unite the air, land, and sea of our beautiful and precious islands.